I have been living in Brandon for a long time now and all this time I had no idea that Brandon had a general museum. So today is the day we're gonna go check it out and you're coming with me. Good afternoon. Do we have to sign here? Yes, I please. Are you okay with having your voice on here? Yeah, right now. Yeah. We're hosting the Walking Through Westman display. This is put on by Brown University students from the public history course. Right there. That was it's... the original college. So it just started as that building. Oh, that's Clark Hall, I believe. Early women's work. In Brandon? In Brandon, yes. But of course, the situation Brandon kind of reflected the situation all throughout Canada. Sarah, and her last name was actually Derek, and Derek Hall at Brandon University. Wait, it was number, named after her? Yeah. Okay, I lived in there. There you go, yeah. And the most decorated Canadian actually comes from Dauphin, Manitoba, William George Parker. He had 12 Valor Medals. And the Brandon Mental Health Center is still a big conversation today because it's now the Samoan Community College's North Hill campus. And if Brandon was never a village, a town, or a municipality, it was a city right away. These are mayors? Yes, these are all the mayors that have taking care of Brandon over the years with Mr. Thomas Daly being Brandon's first mayor. It's an eight day wall clock, so it actually has to be wound up every week in order for it to continue to work. Campbell, this is the Bass Building where Shea is. You can see the Prince Edward is there. There's the old city hall. Everywhere, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sometimes it looks exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it looks a little bit different. No, we do have the BJ Hales collection. Okay. I can show you part of it, but it is under renovations right now. Okay. So I won't be able to sure. all of it. It is sure. a mess. I'm wondering. Okay, let's see. Let's check it out. So that's the earpiece and this is where you speak. Exactly. Okay. 
So of course, Brandon, again, never was a town or anything, became yeah. a city right away. So stuff had to happen very, very quickly here. So we have one of the oldest pictures here and you can see the condition of the roads. Yeah. It's just very uneven, big rocks everywhere. And then finally got paved, the Fraser and Ross building. You can still actually see that painting on the side of Fraser Sneaks. Yes. Downtown. And then we've got paved roads and you'll see rail cars. Brandon actually had a bunch of street cars downtown. So guys, that was the full tour of this museum. I have learned so many useful things. So if you come here, I'm pretty sure you will learn a lot as well. And thank you so much, Ali, for giving your time. Absolutely. When you come here, you'll see her. And for now, I'm going home and I hope you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.